Hello YouTube viewers, I'm back with my second part on how to install the graphics card into my computer. I'm going to be using an old dish, oldish. it's not new and it's not super old, but it's a Dell XPS 400. Um, so basically for the first part I just unplug everything um, and I've heard that Dell's the static builds up in them. I don't know how about the latest ones, but I'm gonna wait about five minutes, maybe even ten, and resume the video then on how to install it. I'm back. I waited an overly excess of time for the static electricity to go away, which is usually a very, very short time period, but I just want to be safe. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna put the computer down on the side. In a box. Okay. Then I want to make sure that you, the charge yourself, was, uh, if you get static on your head, can really mess up. Everything so I'm gonna do this as I've seen many people do just touch a big metal object, which is gonna be the chest in this case. So, installing the graphics card is kind of easy, I'd say it should be easy. I'm just gonna wanna open up so. It's my old. This is my old card that I had pretty much stuck on this computer. And here's my new one. So I'm put that aside. I'm gonna try to not touch the PCI gold tips and carefully slide this in here. I'm not 100% sure how this uh, security system for the card not to pop out works on this computer. Um, okay, there we go. Now the card is nice and secure. In some computers, you might need, it'll be just you have to unscrew something. Might be a system like this, maybe like an L shaped bracket on the outside or the inside, but. This computer has a very easy system, just pop that open, pops right back. So now that this is installed, I'm going to close up the box and I'm going to rehook the wires up. So I'm going to cut the part out. Be right so back. here is the process last step to installing a new uh, graphics slash video card, no matter what you want to call it. Um, If you have access to the internet, which I'm assuming you don't, you just want to go on your cards manufacturer's site. For me, it would be NVIDIA. So I would open up the internet and go on that site. But if you do not have access to the internet, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the driver disk that was included, put this in, and install it for your card to run smoothly. So, which is very easy to do, just in, like installing any other program and put it in, follow the steps. So I'm going to go on video.com. I'm going to find where the drivers are, which in this case, NVIDIA says right here, the GeForce cards, so it's going to be GeForce drivers. You're gonna want to find the model. So here it says it will promise me to either find it automatically or search it. In which case, I'm gonna go for the search. It's a 500 series card. You're gonna want to put in your Windows version and whatever language you need. I'm assuming that you are. If you're watching this, you speak English, so you want to choose English. But okay. so you're gonna start the process. 
So here, as you can see, it came up with the drivers. I can check right here, it does have my card as compatible. So it's from my card. You're going to want to read their terms of uh, agreement and download this. So save file and so on and so on. And I will be back when this is finished. And the driver is finished downloading. I'm going to install it. And see how this runs. So yes. Okay. So my hope for this card is to allow me to launch my, one of my favorite games, Star Wars Old Republic, because it would not launch before, and uh, I narrowed it down to my graphics card not working, uh, so hopefully this will allow it, and if it doesn't work, then I'll, at least I'll have some new movies now. And this card does come with uh, three years of EVGA warranty. Yeah, I can show you on the box. It says it right there. So I'm also gonna have to register this with EVGA. And if any of you wanna buy this product, don't forget to do that just in case something happens. All right. You won't wanna read this. Kind of already did my research on this and everything. I'm just gonna go with Express. I don't feel like getting too much into it. And I'll be back again after this is done. The down. driver download will, uh, install is almost complete. To see the moment of truth of how well this card will actually run. <laughs> and okay, so the system wants to restart. Okay. And it looks like the installation finished. Uh, I just want to see if I can find the driver from them. Here it is. Yep. It looks like everything has installed. And that's it. Thanks for watching part two of my three part series. For part three, I will hopefully be able to run Star Wars Old Republic and if I'm able to you'll see how the performance is I'll try to test it if it can run on the highest settings or not but we'll see if it even launches hopefully it will alright 
thank you all for watching this video of the installation process of the NVIDIA GT520.